But I was in a mastermind and, and Robert Allen was telling his story about how he lost everything. Um, yeah. Apparently, avalanche. You, you have to be careful of avalanches. Oh, yeah. That was crazy. They're, they're apparently not covered under insurance. I did not I know, know that. They, I, I've never heard this before. Yeah. Um, but people ask us about like tornadoes and hurricanes and earthquakes. You can get insurance for all of those things. But apparently, if your house gets wiped out by an avalanche, um, that's a big deal. Um, so, you know, if you're getting a mountain chalet uh, for your rental property, you might just check into avalanche insurance if you're at the base of the mountain or on the side of the mountain because his property was in Sundance out in Utah and it was I saw pictures of it was pretty amazing really and avalanche came down and took it out like just gone off the mountain <laughs> gone oh my word and he lost it's not really funny it was a sad story actually He's, he lost a lot of money and he still had debt on the property so he lost the house uh no insurance and he had oh. to you know he had to dig his his way back out of that um so so really rough and he lived there so it was in his backyard so wouldn't that be like story. flooding but like with solid water <laughs> that's insane that's, i don't think that's the way it works but <laughs> i never heard of that before and i lived in utah heather you live in utah yeah I, never heard I didn't of it know that. i didn't know that um I guess an avalanche couldn't have taken out any of our houses, um, but because uh, they, they weren't on the side of a mountain. But uh, anyway, my point is everywhere that you buy, um, you just need to make sure that you fund the, follow the fundamentals, like Heather was saying. And if the property, if the numbers work and we have, you know, if a solid property management company, then you don't really have to do much. Yeah. I mean, it is, quote, active it's not really passive it's it's active you actually have to actively tell your property manager to go do things for you but you don't have to do them and it's a brilliant yes. thing so i i don't i guess i'll end with this heather unless you have something else no i was just going to say that when i say passive versus active i'm thinking you're actively managing going over there yes. doing the repairs yourself no swinging so. hammers yeah <laughs>